nuclear security summit is the fourth and in its present form possibly the last because it was an initiative that was launched by President Obama after his famous 2009 Prague speech where he talked of making all uh, radiological materials secure and safe within a four-year time frame and after the Washington summit in 2010 we had summits in Seoul and The Hague and this in a sense is uh, the concluding summit because it is also the one which is in the concluding year of the Obama presidency. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that this summit will also have to determine how the future process of nuclear security is uh, going to be worked out because so far it has relied on uh, voluntary commitments for enhanced security measures and international cooperation using existing international institutions, whether it is the United Nations or the IAEA or the Interpol. Now, how do these organizations continue to keep the focus on nuclear security, which remains ex extremely important because as we just saw uh, following the attacks in Brussels, uh, there is a suspicion that some of these terrorists were also looking at Belgian nuclear facilities. So I think the threat is a very clear and present threat and the focus will need to be kept. And these will be the two big challenges before the Nuclear Security Summit. Uh, Prime Minister Modi has shown a certain degree of uh, continuity in terms of the nuclear diplomatic initiatives that he has taken with what was begun immediately after the nuclear test in 1998 by Prime Minister Vajpayee and then carried forward by Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh. So working on that assumption, I would think that Prime Minister Modi will play an active role in the Washington summit where he may announce an additional financial commitment to the nuclear security fund. He may also set out uh, some kind of an expanded program at the Global Center of Excellence uh, that is coming up on the outskirts of Delhi. And in addition, I think he would probably also launch some kind of an initiative with regard to uh, work on proliferation resistant technologies and an examination as to how this can contribute to greater nuclear security. You know, the threat of terrorists getting their hands on some kind of a radioactive dispersal device is a threat that is a very clear and present threat, as we just saw in the aftermath of the Brussels attack. So it is an issue on which India remains solidly committed and Prime Minister Modi will certainly highlight that commitment.